Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Ratko Tarot and this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius Rising Weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for November 19th to November 25th, 2018 And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a general reading for Sagittarius star sign and it is not your personal reading Therefore, I will do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And as the Christmas is approaching, there is a Christmas deal going on, on the website which uh, relates to the 20 and the 30 minutes uh, live reading service and it basically uh, uh, the prices for those services are abated with around 10% each. Well for the 20 minutes is 10% for the 30 minutes is more like 15 or 20%. Anyway so <clears throat> what we have here uh, is a four card tarot spread. We're going to the tarot spread first and the first card is about the topic uh, of your week and eight of pentacles obviously points that you are to uh, build up something if I may express myself that way but and not exactly building but let, let's say initiating an, an important plan in your life. The eight of pentacles especially as a topic it means that you are to make what you want to make the way you want to make it and that is usually a result of a thoroughly created plan like i said also the eight of pentacles is a uh, associated with mastering a certain skill but uh, you know if you are good at what you are doing then the eight of pentacles points that you are to cash in on what you are doing in that regards when we talk about businesses this card points to a lot of of customers and a lot of orders as well which are to uh, convert into a money. The Eight of Pentacles is about going through ups and downs as well especially if we're talking about relationship. Uh, the, this card regards to the um, like I said ups and downs into one relationship but should you search for love this card has an entirely different meaning. It means that now you need to open yourself for it, okay? So let's say that you recently had a breakup, a pretty traumatic one, should I say that way, and um, you have closed within yourself and you are not letting anybody in. Well, but you, you, you have to open. This is what these cards are pointing. That that week is going to be a week where you are to start opening once again to invite love in your life. Now, um, the Eight of Pentacles has, I know, a completely different meanings if it regards to career or if it regards for love. But it's just how it stands. Uh, just to summarize all that, and all in all, the Eight of Pentacles points for improvement, maybe slow, but for that matter steady and you are to learn how to live with yourself nonetheless and how to capitalize on your new methods like executing that thoroughly uh, prepared plan or just opening for to receive a new love into your environment and this all comes to the tanks of the judgment card which is the core of your situation so this card points that you will have obtained a, a completely different vision upon your situation upon your status in life and that is a, a very broad card it could refer to literally anything and it could push you to do literally anything it is basically the wake-up call that one can have realizing for example that is enough is enough to be alone and now it's time you know to socialize like opening yourself for new people or enough is enough seeking job into this field and I got got to try somewhere else where you are to find yourself being very lucrative for that particular field as well and etc etc the judgment is about um, kind of like finding a resolution to a, a issue or a situation that it was seeming 
uh, was seemingly um, unresolvable, like you were facing a wall. Uh, let's say that uh, this situation gave you two options available and neither of those options are suiting you and now as the core of the situation the judgment card appears and it gives you a, a third more balanced option for you to go forth with and uh, that option is exactly the one that suits you best. Now important thing to notice here is, is this ain't gonna go without any difficulties and this is well seen here in the seven of pentacles but again like I said the eight of pentacles is all about going through the ups and downs through the fire and water just like the blacksmith shapes one metal and at the end quenches it to become one hardened blade all right so this is how you need to proceed forward you should not be afraid of tackling with uh, with predicaments and tackling with issues as a matter of fact the more issues you have to resolve the better you are to become in whatever you are trying to initiate to or whatever you are trying to push forth with the seven of pentacles here points <clears throat> to a lack of clamor regarding the success of your undertaking now uh, this card comes with its generic meaning of that is it worth it you know i mean as soon as you open yourself for the people uh, for example if we go with the romantic life here maybe you are not going to face so much glee that you have expected and instantly you are to say to yourself well maybe I was wrong you know maybe it isn't worth it at all but uh, closing yourself back again is not going to resolve the issue of being single and again you should not kind of like treat everybody the same way is what I'm trying to say there are people and people and as soon as you open then the right person is eventually gonna come the seven of pentacles is about clamor because it says that uh, a, a very important event that uh, is going to define your future steps moving on forward is just behind the corner but you need to be prepared to take advantage of it and that preparation starts here with either opening or initiating into your undertaking is basically having that clamor that um, things are gonna go for the better in your life as soon as you start doing something about it and sitting just into one place hoping that things are gonna change into their own accord that may never happen I mean the change came already but that was not a physical one but it was a rather more mental change where you are to see as I said your your situation from a completely different angle from that wake-up call and you are to realize what you need to do from now on in order to improve it very important as well with the seven of pentacles is that um, <clears throat> is when you go to the other part of the extreme being restless be, and in the same time being very reckless about forcing you know this good fortune upon yourself and as we said here with the eight of pentacles this is going to be a slowly developing one i mean the eight of pentacles doesn't happen overnight it first needs to lay down the foundation then you need to master it like a skill or like a knowledge then you start then you need to start making it the way you want to make it and etc etc so it's going to take time and being impatient here with the seven of pentacles it's it's kind of going to give you uh, nothing but frustration and as well uh, uh, how can I place it uh, and as well doubts that you are to have that energy to push it to its very end and not to mention that you are also going to have doubts of its worth at all if that new relationship is gonna worth it or it's not even a relationship but more like an uh, empathizement is gonna work for you or this a uh, new idea for a project is going to prove lucrative on its own accord so what you need to do here is that we do have the guidance card of the justice first and foremost make your priorities right when we do have the justice as a manifestation in the material world it is exactly that i mean you need to go one step at the time starting from the smallest issue that needs to be resolved and moving forward with the bigger one and then the bigger one you, you should not jump jump straight to that gigantic you know the the the, the gigantic issue that you need to tackle with because then the small issues 
are to really cause AS severe predicaments which are gonna make your work even more harder than it needs to be so yeah making your priorities straight and organized it is what definitely is gonna help you with the justice card and as well being more balanced with uh, with your decisions uh, because the situation itself will require acute discernment and through that discernment it will be very important when you take a decision regarding either an undertaking of yours that you are developing here a, a lucrative business or opening for somebody you know you need to be accountable for yourself <clears throat> so just for the idea of being into a relationship um, it should not be a prerequisite for you to jump into one all right it's just you need to feel that emotional connection let's say or to feel that person special for you because there is a, an opportunity for you to jump just for the sake of not being single into a one relationship but that is not something that you are going to benefit a lot from and uh, what was I about to say about the judgment card that just slipped through my mind oh yeah and uh, <clears throat> these cards on a very superficial level may point that especially for those who uh, are a brought child on this world recently I mean you were pregnant and you give a birth then these cards point that your uh, daily routine your life in general is to change for the better depending how you're accepting it but your priorities are to completely shift for example if you like to party if you like to go out with friends and etc etc that is not going to be a priority for you any longer but more like the family life is going to be a priority for you so that was uh, the tarot reading and now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards and let's see what they are to say and they are to show us a event that you should either look forward to or try to avoid okay so let's see what we have the first one this is going to be the fox and the fox stays for a um, manipulative it stays for cunning it stays for um, trickery but also stands for work as well as well then we do have the bear and the bear stands for a headstrong it stands for authority it stands for a motherhood as well and it stands for abundance resources and the last one this is going to be the clover the clover is the clover is standing for small benefits standing for small success small amounts of luck so uh, what we do have here is probably that could be interpreted in many ways but let's say that you are uh, if you put the efforts behind it you are to find yourself a very well paid job with a, a small amount of luck I mean you need a small amount of luck or a small efforts in order to find yourself a well paid job or the resources you need to um, to initiate a certain undertaking as we saw over here because that that could be as well your new job all right i mean the the wake up call here like an offer coming to you with a new job that it is something that you would usually not do but in the same time is offering to you a growth but also that could be a uh, obtaining resources you needed with a small amount of luck doing so you know but a lot of cunning actions so kind of like it's not exactly lying but let's say that you have to manipulate in order to get them and you need to bend to bend certain facts the very least these cards are pointing that your stability and your material uh, status is to improve throughout the week so that being said, um, Sagittarius, this was your weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for November 19th to November 25th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, again, this was just a, a general reading for Sagittarius star signs and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, I did my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but at the end falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to um, find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.